Good morning, everybody. My name is Chris Schulte. I'm the Deputy Incident Commander with Pacific Northwest Team Number 2. As Adam mentioned, we're transitioning today. I'd like everybody to also realize that we know this is a very important mission we're on. We're, uh, the mission that you started and the mission that we're here to try to complete uh, is critical to uh, serving the folks in this part of the uh, state of Alaska. And uh, we're all in this together. We're here to support the suppression effort, whether you're planning it, or implementing it, or supporting it in logistics or whatever, we're here to help you. So if we can, just let us know and we'll do our best. Good morning everybody, John Bonk, Incident Meteorologist. We're gonna have a cold front swinging by this evening. And uh, with that, we're gonna have uh, quite a bit of a wind increase, uh, maybe even a little bit more than what we saw on Monday. Uh, so just start planning for uh, some southwest winds to really kick up this afternoon, uh, starting up on the ridges of uh, 15 gusts, 25 miles an hour. Uh, we're going to see a little bit lighter amounts as you get further down in the terrain with the exception of Chattanooga drainage uh, where uh, by the time we get to around the front and a little bit behind uh, we're going to see those wind directions shift to the west and so you'll see also down in Chattanooga west winds 15. Good morning everybody Andrew Stinchfield with fire behavior. Uh, so you heard from John we're going to have an increase in winds today. With that increase in winds we're most likely going to see an increase in the fire behavior. Uh, most of you know that have been here for a little bit, wind plays a big part in how this fire behaves. Even with higher humidities, the cloud cover, etc., uh, we can ex ex still expect to see some torching in the black spruce, uh, most likely active backing through the mixed hardwood, the mixed spruce field types. Now, the other thing that we're working with is this is day three since the rain, so we're getting towards the end of its effectiveness on kind of dampering down the fire behavior. So from here on out, uh, we should be kind of ramping up. Um, so please pay attention to that today. Uh, good morning, Chris Etzel, uh, operations with PNW2. I'll be doing planning ops uh, real quick. I'm going to introduce our section, uh, Kyle Cannon. He's our uh, strategic ops. Barry Schellenberger, he'll be doing field ops. Uh, Reggie Bray, where's Reggie at? Thanks, Reggie. And then uh, Tom Taylor, who'll be doing planning training. So we've broken this fire up into uh, three branches. Branch one off to the north, branch two off to our east, and uh, branch three, which is gonna be our south and west. Uh, divisions have been filtered out in those locations, uh, nothing really changes on the map as far as breaks, but just with the addition of branches. Uh, this fire right now, there's very minimal uh, activity as everyone is, is aware of, uh, but this fire has uh, had at least three uh, incidents where uh, we've had to pull back firefighters. So uh, uh, we, we're doing everything we can to keep uh, you safe and you need to be a part of that out there on the ground and, and uh, you know, here in camp. And so, uh, you know, just be watching out for each other and uh, don't let this uh, calm fire right now uh, fool you. So uh, it, it will pick up and start moving soon. Have a good shift and be safe. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, Rob Allen, the incident commander of uh, Pacific Northwest Team 2. I, too, want to start off with thanking Norm uh, and the green team uh, for a good transition. Uh, I worked with the green team for many years. Uh, it's nice to see them functioning well and setting us up with uh, a good plan to move forward. Uh, I want to thank all the folks that are on the ground too uh, for all the hard work they've done so far. Uh, very conscious plan on our part to try to leave as many of the Alaskans in place uh, in those key leadership roles out there as we can uh, with that good familiarity with uh, what's going to come next. As we uh, go through the transition today uh, with our folks moving in and taking over uh, in some of those upper management positions and how we come in with uh, a change in the weather as we start to, to make that difference and the fire behavior picks up. Uh, the theme for today obviously is change. Uh, change leads to uncertainty and uncertainty leads to risk. So it's very important for us on uh, PNW2 that we make sure that everybody on the ground knows why they're doing what they're doing. If you don't know the why of what you're doing, make sure you find out before you engage. Uh, you're the folks that are on the ground you're the ones making those real-time risk decisions on whether or not this is going to be successful or not, and we need your input to make sure that we're doing it right. Uh, without that, uh, we won't be able to be successful. 
So again, as we go into change, that leads to uncertainty. You might not know exactly why or who you're working for. Make sure you know that so that uncertainty doesn't lead to risk that's not acceptable for what we're trying to do here. We know it's a risky job. We're asking you to do something that you could get seriously hurt at while we're doing it. But if we keep our heads up, we keep communicating, we ask why we're doing stuff, come up with a good plan, we'll be successful and we'll have a good day. Thank you.